you are a U.S. citizen or permanent resident, had gross income that did not exceed $12,200 or $24,400 for couples married in, or, or married couples for 2019, and you did not file a return for 2018 or 2019, and were not otherwise required to file a federal income tax return for 2019. Several scenarios are listed on IRS.gov with additional information about each category if you need more information. And it is important to know the deadline to use the IRS's non-filers tool is October 15th. If you do file taxes and you're still waiting on your stimulus payment, there is also a place where you can check the status on IRS.gov slash coronavirus. Click check my payment status. I actually did this personally. Then get my payment and enter your information to find out when you can expect your stimulus payment. A big weekend for area beaches coming up what some cities are doing to make sure everyone has a fun, safe weekend. And with the impact of COVID-19 on employment, many young Americans are moving back home with their parents. You'll hear how this could impact the housing market in the years to come next on WKRG News 5 at 6. Come see us at Hank's Fine Furniture. You're watching WKRG News 5. Local coverage you can count on with Roseanne Haven, Peter Albrecht, Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth, and Randy Patrick Sports. This is WKRG News 5 at 6. Thank you all so much for watching tonight. You know, changes are being made at Home Depot after nooses were found hanging in one of its North Carolina stores. Home Depot higher ops released a statement saying they are appalled by the incident. This is the latest in a series of similar incidents at the home improvement stores in recent years. Now only pre-cut lengths of rope will be sold at stores instead of rope wrapped on large spools. Of course, nooses are widely regarded as a threatening symbol of racism and hatred, and this is particularly relevant as businesses and institutions across the country are now engaged in conversations about systemic racism. 